whenever you stick your car in a car park, a lot of them are generally managed now by some private parking cowboy company whose only aim is to catch you out with honky terms and conditions and find the hell out of you. I bought you a video yesterday about a woman that parked in one of these car parks and was fined by it for overstaying by 16 seconds. Absolutely ludicrous. Well, there is, of course, another one that's come out of the woodwork, which is even more obscene. I'll tell you about it next. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments. Everything's all right with you. You can have a good day, that's the main thing. Well, <laughs> this gets even more ludicrous. It really does. These parking firms, I don't know how they still continue to run, how they're still allowed to continue to run. You drive in a place, it's assumed that you're going to adhere to a certain set of terms and conditions. If you don't, generally it's by overstaying, it's by, um, you know, moving out into a different area, not parking something. Absolute minefield, you'll get fined. I bought you the story yesterday about the lady that uh, got fined for overstaying by 16 seconds. 16 seconds, get how crazy that is. Well, here's another one. Uh, I want to tell you about a place in Victoria Street in Crewe. It's a market shopping centre, the car park there. There was a lady that parked in that car park and uh, done it on a couple of occasions. And you have to pay a parking tariff, get a parking ticket, which she did. Uh, lawfully did what she was supposed to do. Well, guess what? She got fined anyway, £100 each time. Uh, reduced to I think 60 quid if she paid within a certain amount of time. Now before I go into what happened please bear in mind folks uh, despite what these parking uh, firms lead you to believe the burden of proof is still on them to show that you are indeed in breach of any terms of contract and there are procedures and rules to do that look at my previous videos and there are links there that will talk you through it all the way well this lady of course appealed uh, and she got off the hook because she could prove that she'd actually paid. She had a parking ticket, no problem. I had a thing years ago where I walked into, well, I drove into a car park attached to a local snooker club and it said, enter the uh, numbers of your registration, which I did. I got fined. Apparently, I should have entered the whole thing, even though the instructions said, you know, uh, just enter the partial. What I did in my case, I spoke to the landowner, the owner of the club, no less, and got it overturned, which is another thing, another thing you can do. What this lady was worried about was anybody else getting caught out that might be done, throw their ticket away and think, oh well, you know, that's it, and they can't prove they actually paid for any kind of parking. She won't park there anymore. I know what you're thinking, who's responsible for this? Well, it's Bank Park Management Limited. Uh, I've not heard of them before. They're not one I've come across. But uh, they are the ones that fined this lady twice for uh, parking in the car park and actually paying. If you look them up on Trustpilot, apparently they've got a one out of five rating on there. So obviously not very highly thought of. But please, folks, be aware of what's going on. Keep an eye on your time. And, you know rob these cowboy firms of their revenue because they really are disgusting. Let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, any experience you've had. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.